happy holidays to our Cavalier family. This is Dr. Obleski welcoming everyone to the December Virtual Student of the Month program. I want to begin by expressing gratitude to Lori Janko Wilkie State Farm for sponsoring this month's celebration. Lori has been a wonderful partner to LP High School in the Renaissance program and we're very thankful for her. I also want to thank and recognize Central Illinois Bank who is continuing their sponsorship of a gift certificate to one of our, our lucky students whose name will be drawn uh, at the end of the program. I want to also thank Jean Gans and Andrea Eichelkraut, uh, our two sponsors of the Renaissance program. They just continue to provide uh, positive support to our students as well as our staff uh, and our entire community. We're just very, very fortunate to be able to have both of them leading the Renaissance program. I want to thank Mr. Baker as well for his time and efforts in putting together this month's uh, video program. And most important, I want to say thank you to our teachers and our students and our staff members who are working so hard uh, in these difficult times to be able to make things as uh, normal as we possibly can. We're all looking forward to getting through the pandemic and getting things back, back to normal. Uh, it looks like we're getting closer every day. Uh, I want to wish everyone a safe and happy holiday. May you have an enjoyable time with family and friends. Please be safe. Uh, enjoy today's program and we look forward to seeing you soon. How are we doing guys? This is a shout out to Dalton Zanecki. Uh, second hour team taught U.S. History Student of the Month. Great job, buddy. Really, really proud of you. Uh, Mrs. Peyton and I love your positive energy um, that you bring to class every single day, um, participating in our group discussions, turning your work on time. You're, you're doing great, especially with times being really, really tough, man. Um, really, really proud of you. Hopefully we can get back in the building soon. Um, have a great Christmas. Uh, thanks again. This December, it is my pleasure to nominate Ella Ware for English Student of the Month. Ella has been a delightful student all semester since I first met her this year in AP Junior English Language and Composition. Ella has adapted to online learning with grace and dedication. She comes to class every day, turns on her camera, and participates in every activity that we're doing in class. She consistently gets her work done on time has maintained a very good grade, and most importantly, she always shows a positive attitude. During a tough situation, Ella has shown strength of character as a student and a cavalier. Congratulations, Ella. I am very proud of your effort, and you deserve to be December English Student of the Month. Hi, Morgan. I just wanted to say congratulations on being student of the month for December. Awesome job. I want to tell you it's been a pleasure being your coach for four years. And I want to thank you for being inspirational during this time to your team. Thank you for setting up all those Zoom meetings. And thank you for being you. Congrats. Hi, Kylie. Congratulations on being student of the month. I am proud of the young lady you have become in the last four years. I have had the pleasure of being your coach for four years, and I thank you for all your inspiration you're bringing to this team in this difficult time. I just want to say that you are awesome. Congrats. Hello, my name is Mrs. Liebhart, and I am happy to nominate Carlos Larios as Student of the Month for the World Language Division. Now, Carlos is an AP Spanish student of mine, and I am nominating him for various reasons. Um, one reason is that he's an extremely hard worker. He puts forth full effort in every assignment and activity that we do in class, and this to me shows his dedication to learning. In addition, he is a great leader. Um, I can always count on Carlos to 
uh, lead groups, especially when we are in class and doing breakout groups, and he's always willing to take control and take the lead, and that is greatly appreciated. Um, most importantly, Carlos has a very positive outlook and a positive attitude. I think that's very contagious. Um, at the same time, it's extremely necessary with all of the challenges that we are facing today. So for these and other reasons, I am happy to nominate Carlos Larios for Student of the Month. I would like to give the nomination to Morgan. Uh, because of all the hard work she puts in. Um, she makes class very enjoyable with the whole remote learning because she's always willing to chime in. Whenever I ask a question, there's usually a long, awkward silence, even with questions as simple as like, how is everyone doing? But she is very quick to respond, uh, helps to keep things moving, uh, and she's you know always reliable, and I can always count on her uh, to be there. Um, she also just keeps class upbeat just with her positive attitude. Uh, I'm very impressed with how hard she works and, and I think it's going to benefit her going in the future uh, with just how, how much effort she puts in and her resilience. So great job, Morgan, keep it up and enjoy your nomination for Student of the Month. Ella has been a very consistent hard worker in band so far this year. Uh, she is always engaged in class and it has been honestly enjoyable to listen to her recordings that she submits for our assignments. Uh, she was also selected through an audition process for our uh, Illinois Music Education Association District Band, which is a great accomplishment in a normal year, uh, but even more so in this virtual environment. It's always special when a freshman can enter our program and find success and lead through example uh, in the ways that Ella has done. And I'm very happy uh, and proud to call her the Fine Arts Student of the Month for December. Happy holidays, everyone. I am Miss Gibson, and I am representing the Health and PE Department for the Student of the Month for December. I have nominated Maria Pollock. She has an energetic presence about her every day online. She says hello, she always turns her camera on, and most importantly, probably more than anything, she asks me, hey, Miss Gibson, how are you doing today and how is your morning? She has shared her hunting stories with us, with her animals. Um, she showed us her dog and she shared um, some life stories. Thanks for being a shining light every day in a stressful world, Maria. I appreciate you and your thoughts. Have a great holiday. My name is Miss Davidson and I am nominating Anthony Gauss for the December Student of the Month for the Goals Program. Anthony is a leader in the classroom and he models kindness, compassion, and leadership in all that he does each day. Anthony has shown a lot of growth since beginning in the Goals Program and really works hard in all of his classes. Anthony also is always there for his friends and is helping them in anything that they need. Anthony is a true leader in the classroom and I am really proud of him. Max, on behalf of the ACC, I'd like to congratulate you on your selection as Student of the Month. You have shown yourself to be a solid academic student, but more importantly, you've also shown yourself to be that type of student who wishes to just make themselves better. You've been willing to come in of your own time to get hands-on skills when other students wouldn't. You've been willing to donate your time to help the ACC in its endeavors, such as the car show. All of those things go together to make you the well-rounded and capable human being that you are. We wish you well in all that you choose to do in the future. And again, congratulate you on this selection. You are truly worthy of it. Hi, Edwin. I just wanted to congratulate you on getting Student of the Month. Um, I just wanted to give you a few reasons on why I nominated you. So the biggest thing is that I've seen a tremendous change in you from the beginning of the semester up to this point. Um, at the beginning, you were quiet, didn't ask any questions, missed assignments often. And then all of a sudden, a um, couple weeks in, you had that big turnaround and you started coming in to make labs with me and realized how fun it was to cook. 
And then I kind of saw that bright light turn on, even though I never really get to see you in the Google Meets. Um, but you started asking questions all the time and being vocal during Google Meets and coming in for the labs, like I said before, until we kind of got shut down. Um, but you continued on with that momentum even after we went remote. So I really appreciate your enthusiasm and I'm so glad that you kind of made the change and figured out your flow for Google Meets and remote learning because we're all struggling with it. And I hope um, that second semester that if we are able to be back in person, then I get to see you and we can bake in person and learn some more recipes together. So I look forward to seeing you improve. And like I said, I'm so glad um, that you started talking and made that improvement for yourself. So I hope you feel as good as you made me proud. Bye Edwin. coordinators for Renaissance. And I'm Andrea Eichel Kraut, another coordinator. And we are so very excited for this month we have nominated Haley Zeke to be our student of the month. I was so lucky I got to know Haley on one of her very first days here at LP as a freshman. Um, she came in to be photographed and got to meet her and her mom and I knew just then that Haley would be a great leader and you know what she has shown us what a great leader she is. So far, Haley has participated in every event that we have offered. She's delivered stress balls to our faculty, volunteered to help with the PSAT, and most recently stepped up to be a leader for our Tireless and Staff Awards. We are so lucky that Haley is a freshman and we have four more years. It's just gonna be a pleasure to watch her continue to blossom into a leader. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Linda Hessenberger with Central Bank, Illinois. And we would like to take this time to recognize all of the December students of the month. We think it's a great program and we really think you guys all have a great future. Um, we would like to give one of the lucky recipients a $50 Visa gift card. So I'm gonna pick that name right now. And the lucky winner is Ella Ware. Congratulations Ella and to all the other recipients. Congratulations to this month's honorees. I feel privileged to be able to have the opportunity to honor so many excellent students. I am sure that parents, guardians, teachers, and the students themselves feel immense pride as they listen to their teachers share their qualities. I know I felt great pride as the principal. I would like to thank our sponsors. Your contributions are appreciated and valuable to making our program viable. I would also like to acknowledge our parents and guardians. Not only have you given us students who are prepared academically, you've also shared with us students who have qualities such as integrity, kindness, and strong work ethic. Thank you. I would also like to publicly thank our teachers for their devotion to our students and their work to help make them successful. And lastly, thank you to our students for your devotion. We appreciate all that you do to make LP a great school. Congratulations again on your well-deserved award.